So we started off the day in South Wales, just north of Newport. Our final destination being Perrin Sands in Cornwall. I just wanted to show non-Tesla owners the route and the distance that we can cover in, uh, in our vehicles. So just want to make an honourable mention here, I stopped off at the Tesla Service Centre where Emma and Alan are always pleasant and help where they can. Uh, they sorted out a small issue with my vehicle. Um, and from there we travelled down to the Lifton Supercharger, that's 119 miles away from the service centre. Uh, and there we charged for a while. Uh, this is nicely situated obviously in Lifton, next to a uh, hotel called the Arundel Arms. Uh, it's reasonably priced food and drink there, so uh, it's handy. And then we've moved on to the final leg of our journey down to Haven Perrin Sands by Perrinport. Uh, which is another 50 miles away from the uh, supercharger. Unfortunately, when I started recording this video, uh, I was in a little bit of a rush due to the rain and the wind, so me and my partner uh, kind of rushed ahead, tried to get the tent up as quick as possible, as you probably would in this scenario. Um, so when we started putting the poles together and trying to hold on to the main, obviously, structure of the tent, uh, it kept blowing away, um, requiring one of us to hold down one side while the other one worked on the poles. As you can see, it's starting to take a bit more shape now. Unfortunately, the recording finishes a bit prematurely. This is due to my phone getting very wet and it stopped on its own. So here's the final result. The car is in place, the tent is pegged down. It's uh, wrapped around the back of the car um, and it's, uh, it looks good. tripod so uh, we're going to have to deal with the camera uh, in selfie mode that's okay um, so this is the tent um, just gonna pan around a bit plenty of space um, as you can see there's a tight seal on either side so that's just great um, so yeah uh, this is day two so final day because obviously uh, test this uh, tent for other uses um, so things to note is these straps on the sides are a bit of a pain um, we have had some of the hooks fall off uh, by the looks of it um, so we'll need to go and find them after we pull everything out of the car um, mainly the strap that goes in the window um, to hold the canopy uh, uh, up on the car um, but other than that the structure is solid um, when this is open it's actually made stronger as well uh, which is good um, and um, yeah as usual camping in the uh, Model S is not a problem at all uh, so we have Georgie and then there's plenty of space this side for myself um, and how would you rate it overall comfortable? Yeah, very comfy. Yeah. So, obviously this isn't the first time we've stayed in the car with an airbed, um, but with the tent, it's a nice addition, gives us a bit more privacy and stuff when we get change, isn't it? So, so yeah, uh, overall, impressions are good. Um, it's a little bit of an extra um, tent here, which is handy for when you're charging. Uh, we're actually using an electric hookup 
uh, which is 10 amp on this site uh, or 16 amp sorry but the converter is 10 amp so um yeah overall impressions set up in the wind and rain was not fun um but i'd probably give it overall a seven or eight out of ten for the cost it was definitely a, a, a big plus because it's less than 150 quid um and it, it's a perfectly good as just a normal tent let alone if you don't actually if you don't use it as, um, with the car then it's fine if you do use it with the car um fits model s pretty much perfectly i'd say um model x i probably would have thought it was too small for the model x um, for the gap on, on around the car this is a tight fit on the s so the height unfortunately would be a problem i believe with the uh, with the x okay just quickly wanted to show you how i was charging i've got a uh, commando small commando adapter uh, to a three-bit plug um, portable charger and then obviously that's the car